In this video, you are going to learn how to configure Google Analytics view item event for Shopify website using Google Tag Manager. Hi, this is Nasim from nasimrela.com. I am a top rated freelancer on Upwork and I have more than 6 years of working experience. So if you need my assist, feel free to contact me. Details on this video description. Let's back to this topic. So this is actually our Shopify demo website and our google tag manager is connected to our website also our google analytics is connected using google tag manager just use google tag and copy and paste the measurement id so if you are watching this video first time then you can see the quick overview so we have just implemented this measurement id with this google tag and then google tag and google analytics and our website is connected and this google tag manager is connected by using this code we just implement this code under the head tag of shopify backend so if you don't understand please watch the last episode okay now we are going to set up the view item event so what is view item event so if you go to google analytics uh, google analytics say view item event for example it's a actually a product view page so you can see this is the product page it's a single product google analytics say it's a view item okay so we just need to send this product information to google analytics then we can understand why this product are going to view item and why this product are going to less view item then we can modify or we can understand our traffic source and we need we can add that kind of product or that category product okay so let's do that first of all go to preview on google tag manager simply input website url just copy your website url and paste in this box and then hit the connect and then the website will connect to google analytics and google tag manager yeah so this is the preview mode and we in this preview mode we can see the live view of google analytics okay so google analytics google tag manager is now on the preview mode let's go to view item so open a product it's called view item so if i go back i tag assistant you can see tag assistant already fired a event which is view item we just need to add this event on our analytics so we need to send a tag okay and first of all we need to check ga4 standard event because we need to understand why parameter we need to send with this event so just search view item so this is the view item event just op click on that you can see this is the view item event and we just gonna send the required event with the star mark so we need to send the currency we need to sub value and if we want we can send the items which is array of product and we can send product id item id and item name so these four are required okay so we are following google analytics documentation so that means there is no chance to mist up anything okay let's go to google tag manager and configure the tag just hit the new and select a google analytics event okay so this is the first time we are selecting the event okay so it's a ga4 event and the measurement id we need to send exact same measurement id just copy it and paste it okay 
if you want you can make constant variable but i don't want to make that so now it's called a event name so we will just copy the event name from here and paste it here okay so event name is ready now we need to, to send the event parameter so we have see our four to five parameter are important so just copy and paste currency uh, go to tag just paste here and then go to so value just simply i i am doing it slowly that because you can understand everything so it's item and it's item id and here we need to send another thing which is item name okay so this five standard parameter you can keep it and now we need to send the value so our event parameter name is ready now we need to send the value value is not need to type anything so like if you type anything in the value section it will send the static value but we need to send dynamic value that's why we need to make data layer variable for example this is the data layer variable so like for example we have a lot of product maybe in your website lot of product but if you want to do manually that that will be difficult so that's why we are going to make data layer variable so what is data layer this is data layer data layer means the all information about the product you can see if i expand the data layer we can see it's a currency we can get the items and we can see the item id and variant id item name etc also the price okay so we need to pull this data and send it to our analytic dashboard so how can we do that so for easier i recommend you to install a plugin which is called data layer checker and you can see this is view item and all the code he already picked up from our data layer so you didn't need to understand anything just understand this thing for example this is event name this is the current currency code okay so if you copy this current code it will trigger this code this is actually the value so we just need to copy this one and go back to tag and hit the plus and make new variable which is data layer variable okay and you can keep here okay and then save it if you want you can give any name that you like but i just want to keep exact same name for saving time okay then save it and now one is ready now i am going to do everything quickly so value we just need to expand and we just need to get the price just make another data layer variable sorry it will be this one it's a hello so hello have we have done and then we need to get the items so items you can see it's all it's our the item section so for example we can copy this section and we can make another data layer variable this is data layer variable and this and remove the external part we just want to pull e-commerce that item i will explain a few moments later just understand this thing and now we need to send item id so go back to this page expand this one and product id actually item id okay so 
just hit the plus and data layer variable product id product id okay and then item id uh, sorry item name plus hit data layer variable go back expand item name okay then make it done keep same name and that's it so it's done and we need to set up a trigger just hit the trigger and hit the plus and select the custom trigger custom event okay so custom event and event name you will find also this one just this is actually the event okay so we just need to send the event when we will get the view item i just want to keep the same name here and it's a gf4 event this name and save it okay then it's time to test so our tag is ready now test it go to preview and you can see it's opening okay so our website is open then go back like go to a product page it should be fire yep in time it's number 13 if we select it and open expand this one so if we want to see the variable you can see our variable are triggering the data so actually these four event one two three four these five data layer variable are working properly so that's mean this data are getting google analytics so if we go to real time view go to real time it should fire yes this is the view item event and you can see currency section order id so it's actually passing all the variable with the default variable so the value also the sending so that's me it's working properly that's all for today if you found this video was useful then hit the thumbs up and if you want to see more video from me then consider subscribing to this channel because it will help me to continue working on this channel my name is nasim and i will see you on the next video till then bye have a good day